Did you know the human body could bloat like a balloon if exposed to the vacuum of space? Hold for a beat, well, not exactly, but space is a wild place for anything, even a dead body. Today, we're getting real and diving into what happens when someone kicks the bucket in space. Unlike burying a loved one on Earth, space burials offer a whole new frontier. But what exactly happens to a body floating aimlessly out there? Let's imagine an astronaut tragically suffering a heart attack during a routine spacewalk. Thankfully, this has never happened in real life. Space missions prioritize safety, and thankfully, all space-related deaths have been due to spacecraft malfunctions, not individual health issues. But for the sake of this thought experiment, what if the crew had to dispose of the body in the vast emptiness of space? So, what gruesome fate awaits a body floating in the emptiness of space? Buckle up, space explorers, because part two is about to get, well, not exactly gory, but definitely interesting. Space is no walk in the park. It's a harsh environment with three key threats to a dead body. Space has an average temperature of minus 270 degrees Celsius, which is enough to freeze the body solid faster than any freezer on Earth. Imagine a human popsicle. Space is bombarded with radiation from the sun and other sources. This radiation can break down the body's cells at an alarming rate. The near vacuum of space means there's almost no pressure or air. This lack of pressure can cause bodily fluids to boil and evaporate, leading to, well, let's just say not a pretty picture. On Earth, bodies decompose through a process involving bacteria and insects. But in space, there are no helpful little decomposers. Without them, the traditional decomposition process wouldn't happen. However, space does have its own way of breaking down a body. The extreme cold would essentially freeze-dry the body, with fluids evaporating due to the vacuum. Radiation would also play a role, essentially mummifying the body over time. So, what happens to this cosmic mummy in the long run? It depends. If the body isn't ejected with enough force, it might eventually fall back to Earth, although this would take a very long time. More likely, the body would become another piece of space debris, possibly orbiting the Earth or the Sun for millions of years. It could even collide with another object, becoming part of a future asteroid or even a new moon. So, while a dead body in space wouldn't decompose in the traditional sense, the harsh environment would definitely take its toll. It might become a frozen, radiated mummy, wandering the cosmos for millennia. But that's just part of the story. In part 3, we'll explore the ethical and practical considerations of space burials and how space agencies handle the unfortunate situation of a death on a mission. Stay tuned for some surprising space funeral facts. Now, let's get into the nitty-gritty of what happens to a body in space. Remember, there's no air pressure in space. This means any liquids on or near the body's surface, like blood or fluids in the eyes and mouth, would rapidly boil and evaporate due to the lack of pressure. Imagine a gruesome pot roast in space. Expert Jimmy Wu, from the Translational Research Institute for Space Health, even suggests blood vessels near the surface could burst, causing some bleeding. But that's just the beginning. Space is also incredibly cold, with an average temperature of minus 270 degrees Celsius. This extreme cold would quickly freeze the remaining water in the body, essentially turning it into a human popsicle. The combination of dehydration and freezing would likely lead to a mummified state, preserving the body in a strange, dehydrated astronaut form. However, things get a little more complex depending on where the body ends up floating. While space is mostly a frigid wasteland, it can also get surprisingly hot. For example, the International Space Station experiences temperatures ranging from a scorching 200 degrees Celsius to a bone-chilling minus 200 degrees Celsius. Here's the twist, if the body ends up in a hotter area of space, any lingering bacteria could actually start decomposing it. Remember, research on the ISS has shown some bacteria can survive in space for at least three years. So, in a warm spot with these hungry microbes, the body could decompose much faster than in the extreme cold. 
But even in the cold and regardless of bacteria, space has another trick up its sleeve, radiation. Space is bombarded with harmful radiation from the sun and other sources. This radiation is like a microscopic bully, breaking apart the body's molecules and causing the skin and muscles to slowly degrade over time. So, even a frozen mummy wouldn't be entirely safe from space's harsh touch. So, we've seen that a body in space wouldn't decompose in the traditional way, but it definitely wouldn't be taking a relaxing spa vacation either. The harsh environment would take its toll, potentially leading to a freeze-dried, radiated mummy. But what about the practicalities? In part 3, we'll explore how space agencies handle the unfortunate situation of a death on a mission and the surprising world of space burials. Stay tuned for some mind-blowing space funeral facts. So, our cosmic corpse is now a dehydrated and decomposing mummy, floating aimlessly through space. But where exactly is it going? The answer depends on the initial push it received when jettisoned from the spacecraft. It'll follow a specific trajectory, basically becoming a space hitchhiker, unless it bumps into something. And that something is a real possibility. Space isn't exactly empty. There's a surprising amount of debris and even operational satellites whizzing around Earth. According to Miles Harris, a space debris expert, colliding with these objects is a genuine risk for our space mummy. A collision with a spacecraft or satellite could cause serious damage on both sides. Not exactly the peaceful space burial some might envision. Thankfully, NASA has some safety protocols in place to avoid such a collision. They recommend venturing further out and leaving planetary orbit before releasing a body. This minimizes the risk of a space graveyard accumulating around Earth. But what if the body avoids a collision? There are two main possibilities. If the death happened in low Earth orbit, think under 2,000 kilometers from Earth, gravity would slowly pull the body back towards our planet. The final act of this cosmic journey would be a fiery re-entry into the atmosphere, where the body would burn up completely. A fiery farewell, if you will. Releasing a body into space isn't the only option, though. Space burials are becoming a thing, but they come with potential risks. Contaminating other celestial bodies is a serious concern. Imagine littering on the moon. For shorter missions, like those to the International Space Station, NASA is developing special body bags that can preserve remains for a few days, allowing for a return trip to Earth. This is a more practical solution for closer missions. However, for longer journeys, like a trip to Mars with a lengthy return flight, new solutions are needed. Space agencies are actively researching ways to handle death during these long-duration missions. As humanity ventures further into the cosmos, planning for the unthinkable becomes crucial. While the idea of death in space might seem like science fiction, it's a reality space agencies need to address. Hopefully, with better technology and advanced procedures, future space travelers will be prepared for any situation, even the unfortunate one.